had a shoulder separation, you know it's a very painful injury. Uh, the good news is usually you can make a really nice full recovery and I'm going to give you a few ways how to do exactly that if you're a goalie with an AC separation. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com and GoalieTrainingPro.com. Check out what I got for you today. So this injury didn't happen on the ice, it happened in an off-ice sporting event. Uh, Bicycle racing, a nice crash, header, um, and resulted in an AC separation. So an AC separation happens when often you fall on your shoulder and it kind of gets accordion into you. And then the joint out here um, gets, gets squished, gets sprained, and it can be varying degrees, one, two, three. So one is it just kind of hurts. Two is some of the fibers are torn. Three is it's, it's kind of completely displaced and that, that is the worst case scenario. You can also get an SC separation, which is basically the same thing, but here at the sternoclavicular joint. I digress. So this athlete is doing kind of the regular range of motion type of exercises. If you have an injury, one of these injuries, Definitely the first thing you need to do is go see a good sport physiotherapist, uh, maybe get an x-ray, make sure there's nothing else that's damaged. Um, don't just treat it yourself. And, and then do the basic exercises that the physiotherapist gives you. The, the most important thing is getting your pain-free range of motion back. So, you know, don't do, don't try and force it to get it better because it's just like if you have a scab on your arm and you just keep picking off the scab, it's going to take forever to get better and that's just gross anyway. So don't do that. So get that pain-free range of motion, and then they're gonna give you some strengthening exercises that you can do. But then let's talk a little bit about, you know, getting you back on the ice and some advanced things. So this is like your strength is pretty good, your pain is good, you've got full range of motion. Um, now let's look at some advanced things. A Couple of things that we'll do is, this is just a bungee, and it's, it's just a medium bungee, but I'm putting some traction along my arm, and I'm gonna just trace a figure eight. Let me just step over, a little figure eight, with your hand, with good control. So out to the side at 45 degrees, and make sure you go in both directions. So tracing a figure eight this way, but then also tracing it in the other direction. So you'll, you'll be really surprised because you'll find one way is very, very easy and the other way you just feel really awkward at it. And then the last way will be straight in front. When that's all good and pain-free, you can do the same thing overhead as you go. Then what you want to do is get a little bit of work on impulse stabilization. So, um, you know, sometimes what we do is just have an athlete hold their arms straight out. And again, we vary the angle and the position and where they're at, but we'll have them hold it out and then just, you know, give them a tap, 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 and have them try to hold their shoulder still and stable. When they get pretty good at that and they can control it fairly well, and it's not painful for them whatsoever, then we have them close their eyes and do the same. So the eyes closed and then, you know, giving taps. And we're not, you know, trying to <laughs> break their arm. We're just trying to give them taps and challenge their control there. Then I think the final thing is, you know, you're, you're going to have lost some muscle tone in your shoulder because it's, it's been immobilized for a while. It's had to go through a healing phase. So what we've done in the past is even, you know, loop a, loop a bungee, around your waist and then have sort of the loose end in your hand. And then when you're doing your agility drills or um, you know ladder drills, hurdle drills, just holding this up here. So if this is my glove hand, you know, I'm gonna get pretty good tension on it, but I'm just gonna hold it there just to get used to it because you'll be surprised having, even though the glove isn't that heavy, when you get back on the ice, you're not gonna have the stamina in your shoulder. Your shoulder's gonna feel tired and your glove hand's gonna be dropping down. So holding it there. Um, if it's your stick hand, then you know, hold your stick as you go through um, those ladder drills, those agility drills. You know, even do like some single hand ball handling or puck handling, you know, with that side just to build a little bit more strength and stamina and dexterity in that shoulder. So hopefully you don't ever have a shoulder separation. They hurt a lot, I hear. Uh, but if you do, there are a few things that you can do just before you're getting on the ice or once you've returned to the ice, just get feeling a little bit more comfortable with that shoulder. Once again, this is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com and HockeyTrainingPro.com, where my mission is to help 10,000 players win more games with fewer injuries, even if you don't have the genetic gifts or the natural ability of your competitors.